Now, almost a decade ago, on one side, you're seeing a poster that the city of San Francisco, they unanimously passed the cell phone right to know ordinance, informing people that cell phones emit radio frequency energy, and that if you want to reduce exposure, here's how. That, of course, resulted in a lengthy court battle by the wireless industry, the CTIA, that argued that this was violating the rights of the retailers who would have had to show this poster and inform the consumer when they bought the phones. Leading the charge, there were two lawyers according to the press release of the wireless industry, was Brendan Carr, who was at that time the lawyer for Wiley Ryan. He is now uh, on the FCC as one of our commissioners, part of the US federal government. Thankfully, the city of Berkeley now has passed, um, actually several years ago, they passed the cell phone right to know ordinance. And the CTIA again filed suit that it violated their free speech rights. And I'm so thrilled to say that the Supreme Court just affirmed that decision. So now we have this incredible ordinance, even though it may seem like, well, it's just telling us about that cell phones um, in order to use your cell phone, you need to follow the guidelines of the FCC. If you carry or use your phone in a pants or shirt pocket or tucked in a bra when the phone is on and connected to a wireless network, you may exceed federal guidelines for exposure to radio frequency radiation. But this is huge because it informs people that phones emit radiation. Um, it also said at the beginning this potential risk is greater for children, and they decided to, to pull that out in order to, to have it be successful in the courts. Um, and this is being um, the lawyer that represented pro bono, uh, Lawrence Lessig, is doing it pro bono from Harvard. However, we're still being sold. This is uh, something you attach to the diaper. And it says, connecting you and your baby. It goes on the diaper. It tells you if your baby is wet. And there's an air quality monitor as well. You can always be looking at your phone and knowing what's going on. But we don't, we're not told that it actually has a fine print warning too. This equipment should be installed and operated with a minimum distance of 10 centimeters between the radiator and your body. Actually, I think it's millimeters in there. Um, but what concerns me is that it says connecting you and your baby. How is this connecting me and my baby or anyone and their baby? It's disconnecting. We are disconnecting. And I know you're familiar with the designers of uh, our interactive media that are now coming out and saying it is ripping apart the fabric of our society screens because of the distractions, the overuse, what's happening to our children. But I, I can't imagine, um, I, just, I just can't imagine what it must be like to be a parent now. I'm, I, my kids are now high schoolers, which is a real challenge. But with all the many, all the devices that are coming at us at such an early age, now, the FCC came out and said just last month that our limits that we have that were set uh, 24 years ago do not need to be updated, and also that they do not need to be fixed to require testing with zero spacing against the body. This is unnecessary, and that is a quote from the recent item that they just put out, and that is why we are suing the FCC right now. Um, on this issue. And you can go to our website and learn more about that. Um, I have an image um, and, and several, several images sent to us that we can use in showcasing why this is so important, because women are putting the cell phones in their bra. This is a picture I took um, at the beach with a man with a cell phone just resting on his chest. And I was there for several hours and that cell phone was on his chest the whole time. T-Mobile had this on their um, 
uh, Facebook page. Is that an LG USA Mobile LG G G3 in your pocket, or are you just excited to pre-order it? So companies are not, you know, there's a reason we, don't, we think it's okay to put the phone in our pocket, because no one told us not to, and we're seeing phones in pockets in advertising. If you go to the manual of this particular phone, it says this device was tested for typical body-worn operations with the back of the phone kept one centimeter between the user's body and the back of the phone. And to comply with the requirements, you need to have a minimum separation distance. Now, because of this, there's actually several lawsuits moving forward as well, where um, the argument is that uh, it's a class action suits, that, hey, if I'd known that when I bought this phone, I might not have necessarily bought this phone, or I might have thought differently, and that's, that's moving forward as well. Here's another one, the G Flex by LG USA. It's the only phone that appreciates your curves. So this is made to go on your body. Um, well, I'm not going to talk deeply about protectors right now because if the if protectors have um, they can stop the radiation, the, that intense amount of radiation from going from one end to the other, but there's a lot of other, con so you're not gonna get the intense maybe right where it is. However, um, you can be exposed in other areas of your body, which is why we recommend eliminating exposures as much as possible, reducing exposures by eliminating the source, actually. So um, that is our recommendation. So I'm going to take questions, but I'm going to answer that. I just want to, um, the safest way to carry a cell phone is when it's turned off or to have it on airplane mode with the antennas uh, turned off, all of the antennas off. It used to be that, and, and if it is on airplane mode, I want to say one thing, you still shouldn't put it on your body or in your bra because it still has extremely low frequency fields. Every electronic that's wireless will have two kinds of electromagnetic radiation, actually and more, but I'm going to talk about two for right now. One is from the, the battery in the electrical power, and the other is from the wireless uh, antennas that are coming off of it. So when you turn the wireless antennas off, you're still going to have that ELF that drops off, it's called extremely low frequency fields. Um, it drops off at a distance, so if you have a phone and, um, or a laptop, I use my laptop all the time. I use it with wired ethernet, and I have it on a table, not on my lap. Even without the Wi-Fi, it would still have that ELF, uh, especially uh, underneath where the battery is. 